I'm going to win £200 and laugh till it hurts. That's what, nosy. <laughs> really? What did you do? Trip over your brain? <laughs> this is a winner. Let me see. No! Look what you did. You deleted it. You did it on purpose. Did not. Worm face turnip head. Now I have to start again. That's not very nice. Nobody calls me a one faced turnip head and gets away with it. <sighs> Come on, Mum. Don't let me down. Pick these toys up, Henry. Someone could hurt themselves. She know I was here. Yes. Did you get everything for tea? No. No funny disaster. No two hundred pounds. Not much time left. What am I going to do now? Oh. <laughs> Eureka! That's it. I need a full guy. Okay, Peter. Why can't I play on my happy hopper instead? Because it won't look as funny. That uh, I mean, good. Mum and Dad will love seeing their little Peter playing in the garden. And action! Woohoo! <laughs> I did it! I did it! That wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to snap! Whoa! Whoa! <coughs> Mum and Dad will be so proud that their little angel has learned to ride his bike. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Of course you can. Come on, Worm. Just think of the proud look on Mum and Dad's faces. Come on, Peter! Pedal! Pedal! Ha-ha! <laughs> this is just what I need! Oh, sorry, guys! Sorry, Hop! <laughs> that 200 pounds is mine! Peter! Your brakes! Use your brakes! Henry, are you okay? <gasps> Do I look okay? <laughs> You're okay. Now, both of you, clean yourselves up. Cousin Polly will be here any minute for tea. Woo! Goody! Brushy Polly? Tea? That's it! <laughs> what are the funniest disasters on Laugh Till It Hurts? The ones with food, of course! Two hundred pounds, here I come! I think it's very nice of you, Henry, to record Polly's visit. Well, she is my favourite cousin. Ah, she's here. Not really. She meant Peter. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Henry! wants to do a video of your visit. Isn't that sweet? Oh! And I haven't even had my hair done! <laughs> Action! <gasps> there! Ooh, isn't this exciting? <laughs> Just keep coming this way. One, it is so two, lovely to be here with my uncle three, and my aunt and my adorable four, little cousins. Five! <laughs>
look nice. <laughs> they won't look nice on you. Don't be hurried, Henry. Mum, the shoe department's on this floor. Can't we just have one little look? Henry, I don't know how you can ask for anything after that disgraceful episode. I have never been so embarrassed. But, Mum... Does Madam require some assistance? Yes. These trousers, are they hard-wearing? Oh, yes, Madam, and they're available in all sizes. Perhaps both your little boys would like to try them on. I'm not wearing the same trousers as him! And anyway, they're for girls. These trousers are specially made to be worn by boys and girls. Ooh, how practical! <laughs> Don't be worried, Henry! Behave yourself. Go and try these on. Yuck! We should try another pair. <laughs> Would Madam like them wrapped? Uh, oh, uh... Yes, thank you. Peter! Henry! We're going! Hurry up, Henry! Henry? Attention, shoppers. If anyone has found a very horrid boy, would they please report to the information desk? yourself. It's ridiculous. I can't take my eyes off you for a minute without you getting into trouble. Ah! <laughs> the trouble with parents is that they don't understand the important things in life. I really need those shoes. Mum just doesn't understand. Whoa! Shoppers, that very horrid boy is lost again. If you should find him, please report to the information desk. Wonder how this works. <laughs> I have just about had enough of you. What more? No ifs, no buts. We are leaving right now. It's so easy being me. I'm That's a very nice second-hand jumper you're wearing. At least it's not green like yours. This isn't green. Mum, he's got a goo shooter. Give me that. While you're a guest in my house, you will behave yourself. I won't put up with any mischief. Ow! Get it off! Get it off! 
I don't know how that got in there. Sorry, Aunt Ruby. Show him to his room. I've put all my toys in my room, and you're not allowed to touch them. You're up here, in the attic. <laughs> You're scared of the dark. Of course not. Good, because this room is haunted. <laughs> It'll take more than a silly ghost to scare me. I love ghosts. Ah! You see that stain? That's where the ghost vaporized. <laughs> Pah! Of course, if you're too scared to sleep here. Maybe the ghost will let me play with his toys. You better hope so, because up here, no one will hear you scream. <laughs> I'm Henry. Am I scared? Night like this, when the ghost first appeared. Uh, you mean this really is a haunted house? Oh, don't be silly, Steve. That's just a story. We've never seen the ghost ourselves. Ah! Oh dear, not another power cut. Spooky, eh? Go on, Mom. Tell him the story. Legend has it that the house was built by a rich old man to hoard his gold. He had dozens of servants waiting on him hand and foot. But he was scared they would steal his gold. So one night, he sneaked out and buried it in the wood. He built secret passages in the house so the servants wouldn't see him creeping out at night to check on his gold. But one night, it was so dark, he couldn't see where he was going. And he stumbled into the well and drowned. It's his ghost that wanders the house, searching for his gold. Ah! Huh? Yeah, well, serves him right. With all that money, he should have bought a torch. <sighs> That's enough silly stories. It's time you boys went to bed. Everybody knows there's no such thing as ghosts. There's something in the wardrobe, just waiting to get me. Don't be a scaredy cat, Henry. You're not afraid of anything, except injections. by now, so I know you'd love a pair of big girl's pants. <laughs> I'm a boy! <laughs> what? You think I'd be seen dead in pants like these? Uh, uh, no, uh, probably not. Oh, go away! Henry! Uh, Margaret! Who let 
doing? Your mum, where's my dungeon drink kit? I want it back. Oh, uh, it's... Um... What have you got behind your back? Me? Uh, nothing. Show me! It's nothing. Your dungeon drinks kit. I knew it was somewhere. Thank you. By the way, Henry, they're going to get you tomorrow and I'll be watching. <laughs> tomorrow is another day. Ninety-one plus twenty-five Don't forget, we're gonna is. Get you. No, 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 no! He'll have to catch me first. Henry, face the front. <laughs> <laughs> and for goodness' sake, stop fidgeting! Have you got ants in your pants? Uh, I don't think so, Miss Battleaxe. Shall I have a look? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! I'm wearing Great Aunt Greta's underpants! What am I going to do? Uh-oh! If they catch me, I'm toast! This can't be happening! I need pants! Where can I get some pants? You reach it! That's it! The lost property cupboard! Uh, uh, please, miss, I need the toilet. <gasps> All right. Five minutes, not a second more. Oh, there must be some pants in this lot. Please, please, please. Aha! Oh, these will have to do. What can I do now? I need to swap my pants with someone. But who? Yes! And the three little pigs answered... Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. And the big bad wolf called out... I've come for Peter! He's got a dentist appointment. Really, Peter? I don't remember you bringing a letter. I didn't. I went to the dentist last week. He said my teeth are perfect. No, remember, Peter, you had a terrible toothache this morning. When? Ow! See? He's just trying to be brave. Oh, poor you, Peter. You better go. This isn't the dentist. No, this is more important. I've heard bad things about you. Well, not that I walked across the story carpet. Worse than that, embarrassing things. I've heard you wear baby pants. Baby pants? No, I don't. Look! <laughs> Daffy Daisy pants? They're the most babyish of all. If anyone finds out, you'll be laughed at. Oh, no! What can I do? Give them to me. I'll hide them until we get home. But what will I wear? These. But they're the pants Great Aunt Greta sent you. You said you wouldn't be seen dead in them. Uh, that was yesterday. Today they're cool. It's so easy being me. I'm sort of thing that never happens to us. It's always other people, but now it has. Oh, I know. Mum, how many TVs has the Queen got? Yes, it isn't as exciting. Peter's going to meet the Queen. <gasps> What's all the fuss about? I bet the Queen's not making a big deal out of meeting Peter. Huh? Oh, I'd die of embarrassment if 
my dad put up a flagpole in front of our house, Henry. It's not a flagpole. It's just a pole. Get the Union Jack from the cellar, please, Henry. <laughs> it's a flagpole. We're going to have a proper flag-raising ceremony to celebrate Peter meeting the Queen. <gasps> this is so embarrassing. Flag Henry, now. Oh, you're doing it all wrong. No, I'm not. OK, fine. Make a fool of yourself. Well, how do they do it then? Are you sure this is how you greet the Queen? Yes! And if you get it wrong, they'll lock you up in the tower. No! And then they'll sharpen their huge axe and... Mom! Henry says I'm going to get my head chopped off! Don't be horrid, Henry. Where's my flag, Henry? Just getting it, Dad. Dad, is it true that they chop off people's heads in the tower? Yes, it is. That's why they call it the Bloody Tower. Uh. Now look what you've done! Majesty will see your painting when she visits. What is this? It's my portrait. It's King Henry the Horrible. Henry, you are not of royal blood. Oh, yes, I am. You see, Peter isn't really my brother, and Mum and Dad aren't my real parents. <laughs> he just followed them home from the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the zoo. <laughs> Henry, I think you're overlooking one small fact. Yeah? What's that? There were no royal children born in the same year as you, Henry. No, I'm never going to find out how many TVs she's got. Are you sure you're sure, Mum? Yes, Peter, I'm sure. The Queen wants to meet you. She doesn't want to send you to the tower. This evening. I don't like my hair! <laughs> Stop it, Henry. I think you've upset Peter enough. Come on, Peter. Uh, oh, okay. Bye. But you can't do this to me! It's it's like banning Santa Claus from Christmas! Mom and 
dad are always complaining that I'm not nice to the worm. But when I try to improve his image, see what happens. <sighs> no Halloween! How unfair is that? Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Great! Everyone else gets treats and they get to play tricks. Tricks? Eureka! That's it! You're allowed to play tricks on Halloween. Mum said Henry couldn't go out, but I'm not Henry anymore. I am the Dark Avenger! <laughs> Henry! Henry, turn the music down! Henry, turn the... I can't hear the telly. If you want to listen to music, use your headphones. And don't make me come up here again. Yes! See, now he won't come up here unless I make a noise. Operation Halloween is a go! <laughs> Trick or treat! There you go. A sense Give me a real treat or I'll paint a big X on your door. Will you? Yeah, it was Henry's idea. Naturally. In that case, I think I can find you some treats. Here, you can help yourself. That's more like it. How could he give away my sweets? costume looks like a Christmas tree, and those heels make her wobble. Let Mrs. Taylor get me some toffees. I don't like toffees. Want to swap? <coughs> what was that? <gasps> <gasps> Ralph, is that you? I am the Dark Avenger. <laughs> Avengers Night of Terror has begun! <laughs> a measly box of raisins? I say we toilet paper them. Oh, do you think we should? I don't know. Ah! I am the Dark Avenger! <laughs> That's not a real monster, is it? I don't know. Give me all your treats or you will drown. No way! Get mine! I don't want to drown! Ah! ah a bonus! And you have to wear shorts. Breakfast ready! And I never win anything. Henry! Achoo! <laughs> I hate butterflies too. Oh, I'm so proud of my little athlete. 
I just know you're going to win that egg and spoon trophy again. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, poor Henry. Oh, oh well, I expect you'll live. I don't think I can go to school today, Mum. I've got the most terrible tummy ache. I think I might have to go to hospital. Oh, dear. I hope they won't need to operate. Operate? <laughs> Henry, we both know you haven't really got tummy ache. You're just pretending so you can get out of sports day. Don't worry, Henry. It doesn't matter if you come last in everything again. Huh? And don't even think about getting sent home like last year. Miss Lovely says it's not winning that counts, it's how you play the game. Don't be horrid, Henry! There, Peter. Your egg and spoon race eggs are done. Now, let's comb your hair. You've got to look your best when you receive your trophy. <laughs> Genius! <laughs> Switch the bed for you, Henry. I've been in training for the 400 metres and my dad hasn't let me eat any sweets for a month. No sweets for a month? That's impossible! Not if you've got the willpower. Oh, yeah. Mmm, this yummy, gummy fuzzball is so delicious. Oh, yummy, gummy. Oh, they're my fave. Mmm, are you sure you won't have one? Oh. Oh. Take your places for the three-legged race. The three-legged race is about to begin. Where's your partner, Henry? I, um, um... Margaret, you're Henry's partner for this race. What? Hurry up. It's about to start. <laughs> On your mark. I'm in charge, Henry, and I want to win, so you'll do exactly what I say. Get set! No, I want to get sent home, so you do what I say. You reckon? I reckon. Uh, this way! No! This way! Ow! 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 Oh, oh. This is more like it! Henry! Oh, Henry! Ow. Stop that at once! Ow. See, Margaret, I told you we wouldn't win. That's it. This race is cancelled. Oh, and Henry, you horrid child. If you think I'm going to send you home, you're wrong. You are here all day. The rest of you, follow me! <sighs> You'll pay for this, Henry! That's the trouble with sports day. Brings out the worst in people. <sighs> Don't worry, Ted. The eggs are hard-boiled. <laughs> Feeling a little better then, Henry? No, I must be allergic to school dinners, miss. <laughs> Nonsense. You just fainted from hunger. So here's your dinner with extra helpings. Huh? And don't even think of moving till you've eaten everything. Oh, yuck! You just can't be a good salad, can you? Wicked! Everyone in my class has a packed lunch! N-O-2
those spells, no. It's too much work and you never eat what we give you. But I hate school dinners! I love school dinners. They're delicious. Silence, worm. Mom! Henry told me to shut up! Don't be horrid, Henry. Please! Please, can I have a pat lunch? <sighs> well, if you promise to eat everything... Yippee! Pat lunch from... Here I come! Now, Henry! <laughs> Thank you, Henry. You have given us a perfect demonstration as to why this lunchroom is out of control. <laughs> you all know Greta from the cafeteria. She is now in charge of the lunchroom. Her assignment is to keep order. And she will monitor your lunch boxes to make sure you're eating everything up. Oh. Right. Everyone return to your seats, open your lunch boxes, and eat. I'm not letting the demon dinner lady spoil my fun. Hey, that's mine. Not anymore. It's confiscated. My muffin! Yes, I did. Uh? <laughs> no treats allowed. <laughs> it's really not fair. <laughs> she can't eat our food, can she? What can we do about it? Tomorrow is another day. Give me a treat now. <laughs> <laughs> Only rubber. I'm safe from Greasy Greta. Treats? Doesn't anybody have any treats? <laughs> if you don't tell me where Margaret has hidden her treats, then it's back to school dinners for you, Andrew. I hear it's stringy stew today. Huh? In her socks? <laughs> <laughs> Graham taped his under the desk. <laughs> Ow! Henry's got a chocolate biscuit in his football boot, miss. If someone in this class doesn't tell me where Henry's hidden his chocolate biscuit, then you'll all be going back to school dinners. You it see is the Thank you, young man. That is most kind. And what do you want for Christmas? Um, I would like a dictionary, some seeds, a geometry kit, 
And stamps, please. No toys. I've got plenty already, thanks. What about me? What about my presents? Well, we'll see about that. Great. When grown-ups say we'll see, that always means yes. Henry, come and help tidy up. Aunt Ruby and Cousin Steve will be here any minute. Why did they have to come for Christmas? Aunt Ruby only ever gives me socks. I know. Maybe you could try being nicer to Steve. I hate Cousin Steve. You want to know why I hate Cousin Steve? This is my house. This is Steve's house. This is my paddling pool. This is Steve's paddling pool. I think you get the picture. Henry, help your mother, please. Ruby. The door was open, so we thought we'd let ourselves in. What a dump! Shh! Remember what I told you about being rude to poor people. Now, put their presents under the tree. And these are for you, sweetie. <gasps> I'm getting a galactic goo shooter. Really? I'm getting one too. And a boom boom basher. Me too! And that's just from Mother. Santa's bringing the rest. If he has any room after all mine! Boys, why don't you go outside and, uh, see who can build the biggest snowman? Huh? What? Look! Mine's bigger than yours already! I want to play. Finished! That's not a snowman. Yes, snowmen don't have wings. <gasps> now it looks more like a snowman. Hey! He's my brother! Oh, uh, thanks, Henry. So I get to break it! <laughs> Mine's the biggest! Mine's the biggest! Mine's the, the biggest! biggest. <laughs> 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm more trapped than you are! No! I'm more trapped! Mama! <laughs> oh, Peter, that is pretty. I knitted it myself. I had to have mine specially made. <gasps> Mum! Oh, we've forgotten the mince pie and milk for Santa! Uh, coming right up. I wish tomorrow would come now. Why? So you can watch me open all the presents you wish you had. Christmas is about giving, not receiving. Silence, worm! If you're nice, I might possibly let you have a go with my galactic goo shooter. No, thank you. I'll have my own. Well, we'll soon find out, won't we? <laughs> so easy being me. I'm Really, really fine. Henry, not that one! Oh! This is not a good start, Henry. Nowhere near good. You've already been horrid and we're not even at my desk yet. But, Dad, we're being cut out by firefighters! This is great! 
An office is a place where people come to work, not to muck about. I want perfect behaviour. My boss is very strict, so don't let me down, eh? Dad, you can count on me. Oh! Ow! You're late. Bad start. Bob knows best and late people aren't great people. Sorry, Bob, sir. I, um, hit the alarm button by accident. Dad just told a fib. Hmm. This is just like school. Henry, this is Bob, my boss. And you have to do everything he tells you. And this is Bill, his son. And you have to do what I say too. Welcome to my brush and paste empire, young Henry. We aim to have a foaming brush in every mouth in the land. So, take this day by the scruff of the neck, little laddie. Listen and learn. And one day you too could take orders from me. I'll try my best, sir, Bob, sir. I, I promise to listen and learn. I like you, young Henry. I wish more young men wanted to be like me. Tell you what, you can be my son's partner for the day. Whoa. I expect my boy Bill to take toothpaste into the future. Watch him like a hawk, Henry. My boy is the future. You heard Bob, Sir Henry. Do everything he says and everything Bill says. Yes, sir, a Bob, sir. Meeting in the boardroom in five. All hands on deck. First task, boys, make the tea, serve the tea. And remember, I could be watching you. Remember, Henry, do everything they say. Oh, we have to make all these. Are you kidding? I got better things to do than listen to Dad give orders. Great! What will we do instead? You don't get it, do you? You make the tea, I watch you. No way! If you don't do what I say, my dad will fire your dad. So get making, Bucket Brain. Good. Now I order you to put this stuff in the tea. Remember, do everything he says. Well, if that's an order. Well done. Lovely tea, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Henry. <laughs> this tea's been tampered with. Who did this? It was Henry, Dad. I tried to stop him, but he wouldn't listen. But he told me to! And you said I had to do everything he told me to do! No excuses! You should keep your son under more control! You need to learn what hard work is, Henry. I want you both down in the packing department now! I'll get you for this, snot brain! No, you won't, because my dad is a boss and there's nothing you can do about it. You'd better help or I'll quit. Dead or not, you'll get into trouble again. And you're not working fast enough. Ah, look at that. Dad hates to waste toothpaste more than anything. He's gonna be really angry. Gotcha! <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. I tried to stop him, Dad, but he won't listen to me. <gasps> so easy being me, I'm hard, Henry. <laughs> listen up, anyone! <laughs> My birthday party! A social event of the year! Your parties are never fun. Yeah, they're never fun. <laughs> I never have a nice time. So thanks, but we're not coming. But that means no presents. Wait, this year's going to be different.
Karen, there'll be a brilliant tea. Sounds good. And, um, the, the prizes will be fantastic. Game prizes, I'm in. And me, if it's not too scary. This will be the best party you've ever been to. Oh, all right, I'll come just to see this brilliant party of yours. Yeah, me too. And me. And me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. painstakingly burrow their way down through the soil to build their nest. Henry! Henry's best party ever. Item one, food. Crisps, burgers and loads of chips. Mmm, carrot sticks. Mmm, yummy. Peanut butter sandwiches and plenty of apple juice. Item two, the trip to Laser Zap. We'll go in a fleet of stretch limos. No, no limos, much too expensive. One bus is much greener than lots of limos. Don't know why you're bothered. You're not coming. Henry, Peter's your brother. Of course he's coming. But he'll ruin everything! Roar! Ah! Don't be horrid, Henry. No Peter, no party. All right, but you'd better keep out of my way, worm. Yes? <laughs> the birthday boy's name is Henry. <laughs> Henry, when you went to Laser Zap for Ralph's birthday party, did you break all the lasers? No. And put slime in everybody's spacesuits? No. What about the goo in the moon boots? Oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't me. Well, Laser Zap have banned you. That means the party will have to be here. No! I want to go to Laser Zap! I promised everyone a great time! Don't worry. I know lots of good games. His mum's going to drop him off when he's finished. You'll have to start without him. OK. Go! This is from... I know! It's a pack of felt pens. Do you like it, Henry? Mm, I've already got some. Henry, what do you say? Thank you very much. Next! It's a tapestry kit. I chose it myself. Why? Oh, oh, I'll have it if you don't want it, Henry. Brilliant! You've got some animal soap, a CD of fairy tales. Oh, wow! Cook your own healthy, nutritious food! Fantastic! It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. 50p a week is quite enough, Henry. I'm very happy with my pocket money. I always save loads. You could learn a lot from Peter Henry. No! Don't be horrid, Henry! That's enough, Henry! No pocket money for a week. What? No! I need a new castle! You'll have to save up then, won't you? But, but how can I save money if you're not giving me any? You could earn it. <laughs> earn it? Oh, get off, Henry! Bro, 
broken. First. A chess set? What were they thinking? I need more things! Hmm, you look lonely. Come with Henry. Oh, smells like a baby's bum! Uh, I don't know. How much have you made so far? 37p. You're wasting the smell! Hitting a sign, Henry. Nothing gets past you, does it, Al? All money raised goes to a very good cause. Child in need. When I'm king, I'll have a pair of rooter toots for every day of the year. Henry, that's Mum's special perfume. Oh, she's got loads of bottles. She'll never miss one. That's ten pounds. Hmm, I'll give you one. Done. That's Dad's tennis racket. Oh, stop moaning! You break That's it! Would you like to earn some money, Peter? How? I'll give you 10p. Is that all? All right. 10p a day. That'd be 20p for the weekend. Hmm, I suppose it would help my savings plan. All right, I'll do it. Great! Why do I only get 20p if Ralph gave you £1.50? The uh, expenses. Now run along. Amazing! After I've paid Peter, I'll have £2.67. I'm on to something here. Welcome to King Henry's, the largest chain of superstores in the world. Henry, have you seen my big bottle of perfume? No. Uh, I mean, what, what bottle of perfume? I thought she'd never notice. And where's Peter? He's not in his room. I gave it to Ralph. Well, you go round to Ralph's right now and get him back, you horrid boy. But I don't want him back. Henry, go and get your brother back right now. When I'm king, parents won't be allowed to have any pocket money. Henry! Mum says I've got to get Peter back. Uh, no. Yeah. Huh? With Margaret. Margaret's house? Oh, no. When I'm king, I said to two to get my pocket arms. <laughs> Peter! Peanuts! Now! Faster! <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot! Yeah, idiot. Sorry, Margaret. <sighs> well, we don't want them now. You've tossed them all around the countryside. Go and get some drinks. And don't spill a drop or I'll make you wish you'd never been born. <sighs> yeah, never been born. Henry, have you come to rescue me? Uh, no. God, please, I'll do anything. You can keep the 20p. I'll pay you 50, a pound. She's horrible, nearly as bad as you. <laughs> Come back, I'll give you all my money. All right, I'll see what I can do. It's so easy being me, I'm We have come to kidnap you and take you to our planet. Ah! Space aliens, help! <laughs> it is useless to resist. <laughs> hmm. One more finishing touch. Henry, is it safe to come out? Yeah, we'll chase them away. Hey! Mum hasn't got a moustache. I'm going to tell. You don't have to. Yes, I do. Mum! Mum! Henry's ruined my picture! Silence, worm. Mum! Mum! If you call Mum...
come again, I'll... I'll paint you blue. Give me back my brush! Mum! Peter! <gasps> look what Henry did! Don't be horrid, Henry. Just look at Peter's face. And my floor. This time, you have gone too far, Henry. You stay in here until I say you can come out. But I'm going to miss Mute and Max. This is all the world's fault. It's not you make, the longer you'll stay in your room. But what if I need to go to the toilet? That's the only reason you can leave. Do you understand? <laughs> it's not fair! <laughs> I get sent to my room a lot. I get sent to my room so often I might as well live here full time. Good thing there's lots to do. away because we want you to think about why you're being punished huh? and we'll have a talk about it later what they've even taken my cd player i might get a boy rack cds i can't live without my music hold on a minute yay destruction fm i'm trapped in my room it's peter's fault Stay in his room. Ask your mother. Lock him in a cage for a hundred years. Hang him upside down and catch his ears. Throw him in the river with the crocodiles. Shoot him into space for a million miles. Now I'm ready to wreak my revenge. Well, as soon as they let me out of my room. Uh oh. If they see this, I'll be stuck in here forever. Luckily, no one comes in here unless the music's too loud! Hmm. I need help and fast. Oh, I'm fed up with hide and seek, Margaret. Let's do something else. My garden, my rules, start counting. <sighs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Oh, Margaret, that hurt! Oh, what hurt? Whatever you hit me with. Oh, what's this? Here, let me see. Get Ralph, urgent, signed, Henry. It's so easy being me. I'm Why don't they realise I'm being invaded by germs? <laughs> yeah! It's this or spelling. Dear Henry, too. Ooh. Well, I'm off to work before I catch whatever's going round. Bye. 
Looks like you'll be staying at home after all, Henry. Yes! Result! <laughs> Come on, then. Back to bed, Henry. If you're sick, you have to lie down. And that means no computer games. Oh, Mum! Playing computer games makes me feel better! If you're well enough to play, you're well enough to go to school. What's the point of being sick if you can't play on the computer? <gasps> Mum, I'm hungry! Mum, I'm thirsty! Mum, my bed's too hot! Mum, my bed's too cold! Mum! <laughs> Until Dad comes home. Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Can I play on the computer? <coughs> <coughs> oh, all right. But first, can you bring me a glass of orange juice? Oh! If you're not up to it, perhaps you should go back to bed. And bring pieces of ice cream for his throat, please. Oh! For me, one for three for me. I don't want poor Peter to be sick again. Hello, this is Miss Oddbod. Is that Henry? Uh, no, th th this is Peter, Henry's snotty nosed little brother. Oh, right. Well, is your mother there? I need to speak to her about Henry missing his spelling test. No, she's not. Uh, I mean, no, she's out. And uh, by the way, Henry won't be coming back to school ever again. No? Really? Why? He's got such a high temperature uh, that his brains have melted all over the floor. Sorry, I've got, got to go and clean them up. Bye! Oh! Henry, where's my drink? And where's my ice cream? Oh. When I'm king, only one person at a time will be allowed to be sick. And that will be me! Henry, is that the post? Would you bring it up? Oh. It's just no fun being good. Ah! Henry, answer the door, please. Hello, Sonny. Mum or Dad at home? Mum is, but she's sick. Left me to clean up. Ugh. I'll call her if you want. Mum! No, oh, no, 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 don't bother her. Uh, just pass on a message. We're making some repairs and we've got to turn the water off for a couple of hours. Stop it, Fluffy. That's Peter's. We'll let you know when we've finished. Henry! Oh, coming! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Parents never understand anything important. Morning, Henry! Ah! <laughs> oh, my bag! That mane! Oh, thank you, young man. Grown-ups. <gasps> and we're 
15 seconds to go. Henry rakes across the pitch. Surely he can't score from that distance. It's crazy. It's impossible. He's done it. It's in. Henry scores the winning goal for Aston Athletic. Must get hold of some tickets. 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 Now, listen, class. We've been lucky enough to be given two tickets for the Ashton Athletic Manchester United match. Me! 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 Quiet. I have decided that the class will play a football match at lunchtime. Margaret and Al will be captains, and the player of the match will get the tickets. But who decides who's player of the match? Me, Henry. And my decision is final. No way, Henry. I'm not going to let you score just so that you can be player of the match. Why not? You're Moody Margaret's goalkeeper. It'll be easy. Yeah, but how can I be player of the match if I let you score? Don't be stupid. We all know who the best player is going to be. Have you decided who you're going to take with you, Margaret? Nope. I'll decide later. See? We haven't got a chance. But if I let you score, it'll be cheating. Come along, children. Take your positions. Just remember rule number seven of the Purple Hand Gang. Members must always obey the Lord High Excellent Majesty. That's me. But... And if I do win, I'll obviously return the favour. You mean you'll take me? You see, Ralph, it's not so hard, is it? Right, children. Everyone ready? Disgraceful! Football is supposed to be a team sport, not a pack of hooligans with no respect for the rules. Oh, let's try again, shall we? Oh, Henry! <laughs> <sighs> Why didn't you pass the ball to me? Uh, have you decided who you're taking to the game yet? All right, I'll take you! Team. One nil. Ha! We'll see about that. Gorinda, over here! <gasps> to my Henry! No way! Kay, we're on the same side. It did a wash name right in my eye. I can't see any bird. Bird, why oh, didn't you try to save it? Uh, I don't know. Two one to Margaret's team. One minute to go. Right, no more, Mr. Nice Guy. Uh, uh, what should I do? To me! To me! This is perfect. Where's the TV? No TV here, thank goodness. Where's the pool? No pool. We'll swim in the lake. Where are the toilets? 
No toilets. Huh? Only joking. <laughs> it's over there. That's the toilet. This is real camping. Oh, yes, Dad. The bonjour trees. Bonjour, birds. Bonjour. Oh. Bonjour. Oh, um, uh, bonjour, monsieur. Ah, anglais. Um, I, I think that means welcome. Hand me that pole, please, Henry. Why can't we stay at Camp La Fun? Comfy beds and hot showers? That's not real camping. Bonjour, camping! We're staying here, Henry, so you might as well stop making a fuss and enjoy yourself. Oh, can it get any worse? Last one in to Cowardy Custard! <laughs> Come on, you two! It's lovely! <laughs> Much better than a swimming pool, eh, Peter? Much better! Come on, Henry! No way! It's filthy! And the snakes will get me! Snakes! Don't be such a baby! You're coming in! No! Come on! A bit of mud never hurt anyone! No! I... I... hate nature! <gasps> what was that? I don't know. Probably a werewolf. No, it's not. You're just trying to scare me. Oh! Th th that was you, Henry. No, it wasn't. <coughs> See? It wasn't me. But I think it was an owl. Or a werewolf pretending to be an owl. Werewolves are very clever. Well, good night then. Oh, Henry. I need the toilet. Go then. It's dark out there. What if I meet, you know, the werewolf? Go ahead. I'll keep guard with the torch. Werewolves don't like light. There. <laughs> now he's safe from the werewolf. Oh, it's really dark in here. <laughs> and smelly. <laughs> Henry? Henry! Henry! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Oh, tent. And this year. <laughs> Henry, what's going on? Where's Peter? Peter? Um, asleep? and left me in the toilet. Henry! I know! I'm horrid! Send me home, please! Oh, no, you don't. Your father wants to be close to nature, and that's what we're doing. Why can't we camp in our back garden? That's close to nature. And proper toilets, too. Nonsense! This is our holiday. Come on, Peter. I thought holidays were supposed to be fun for everybody. Nature! <laughs> Eureka! That's it! They want to be close to nature? Then they're going to be close to nature!
until you've done all your chores. Chores? No! Now, Henry, can I still go to Ralph's today? Maybe. After you've done all your chores, we'll see. Yay! When parents say we'll see, they always mean yes. <laughs> Chores. Worm. Come on, Henry. The sooner you get started, the sooner you'll be finished. Oh, all right. What do I have to do? Well, you can start by cleaning out your hamster. <coughs> uh, hello, Fang. Remember me? Fang, climb inside. <sighs> All right. Come on, little Fangy Fangy. Who's a pretty boy then? Little Fangy, little Fangy. I love you. I love you. Is going on here? Fang's being horrid to Fluffy. That's not true. <coughs> Put Fang away now, Henry. You haven't got time to play with him. Oh, look at your room. It's even more of a mess than usual. Oh, you can tidy it later. Can you empty all the rubbish bins now, please? Oh, come on, Fang. Time to go back. <coughs> When I'm king, only parents will have to do chores. Henry, what are you doing? Emptying the bins. Oh, I don't think that's what Mum meant. I'm going to tell. You don't have to. Mum! Worm! Mum! Henry? Yes? Oh, have you emptied all the bins? Yes. Can I go to Ralph's now? Oh, we've only just started, Henry. Dad wants you to help him wash the car. Oh! So What's the car for? The park's just down the road. We're going for a proper hike in the countryside. The countryside? No! We could get chased by 
Chickens? Man-eating chickens? <laughs> <laughs> Can't we just go round the block? N-O spells no, Henry. Well, I'm telling you, you'll be sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we should have listened to Henry. <laughs> Who'd have thought man-eating chickens would eat our darling Henry? I'll never eat an omelette again. <laughs> Henry! In! No, I live in the city. I'm not going. Come back here. Now, do your seatbelt up and try to behave. Oh, look! A wood pigeon! Let's go, Henry. You can't make me. Fine. But each step I take is 5p off your pocket money until you catch up. 5p off, 10p off, 15p off, 20p off. Oh, I'm missing a rapper's up a marathon for this? Smell as manure. Couldn't you wait, Peter? No! Henry called me smelly! Don't be horrid, Henry. Come on, Henry. Why don't you help Peter find something for his nature project? Right! Um, but that's a wasp's nest. They sting you, don't they? Uh, not if you sing to them. No one else will have one. You'll get top marks. Easy. Oh. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, tourne et vous. Sing, Peter, sing! Sonnez les matines, sonnez les matines. Peter, come away from that wasp's nest. It's all right, Dad. I'm singing to them. Henry said they won't sting. Sonnez les matines. Peter, stop. Of course they'll sting. Come down now. How could you be so horrid, Henry? Well, Dad said to help him find something for his nature project, so I did. Something safe! Oh, well, he should have been more specific. Oh. Come on, Henry! You bring her! That's it! The sooner we get to the stupid lake, the sooner I go home to watch Rapper Zapper! Come on! Isn't this fun? <laughs> That's the spirit, Henry. Whee! Let's find the lake! Oh! 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 Stinging nettles! Oh! 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 Come on, so goat! Last one to the lake is rubbish! There it is! I see it! I see the lake! There's a shortcut! Come on! I knew he'd enjoy our hike. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, Oh, they've slowed down. I knew they would. Good thing I doubled back. Ding dang dong, ding dang dong. I'm missing Rapper Zappa. How am I going to get them to hurry up? All right. Blue. Green! Uh, yellow. Bert? Uh, I 
like to know? It's black, like a hole in your brain. <laughs> what gizmo did you get? Um, actually, I got silver. <gasps> no way! <laughs> That's nothing. I got gold. Never! You're so lucky. Is it beautiful? Can we see it? Wow! A boy with a gold gizmo could do anything! Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's at home. I don't want to bring it to school, do I? It might get stolen. My lunchbox was stolen once. Rubbish! You haven't got a gold gizmo, Henry, and you know it! If you had one, you'd be showing it off. Come on, Henry, show us! 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 Show us, show us, show us. OK, OK. Tomorrow. And you're all going to look pretty stupid when you see it. Ha! We'll be waiting! Hmm. This is going to take something mega clever. Chess set? Marbles? Ugh. Coin collection? What are you doing? Just seeing what I want when you're gone. I'm really sorry about the gold gizmo. Why? Everybody wants a gold one. But what about the curse? What curse? It's been in all the papers. Every single person who's got a gold gizmo dies a horrible death. That's not true! It is. Didn't you see about that girl? She got a gold gizmo and she fell down the toilet and drowned. <coughs> then there was the boy who was out with his gold gizmo and his dog. And they fell right into a pit of molten lava. And all because of the curse of the gold gizmo. Oh, no! I saw it! The giant flying curse bird of tragedy! It's a sign that you are doomed. I am not doomed! Ah! 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 I'm doomed! Ah! Ah! I don't want to die! <laughs> well, if you give the gold gizmo to someone else, the curse passes to them. I suppose I could take the risk. I know you'd risk your life for me. Henry, you're the best brother in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Easy peasy. <clears throat> Margaret's here, Lord High Majesty. I can't wait till tomorrow. If you really have got one, I want to see it. Now! Uh, Peter, I'll have some crisps, some chocolate, and then even more chocolate. Right away! My big brother's so brave! Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, where is it? <gasps> it's beautiful. I want it. No way! A cool gizmo is everything! I'm not giving it up. I'll get you a double drencher. A 3,000? If you like. Brand new? In the box. You're on. Tomorrow? At school. Be there. Tomorrow's going to be a good day. Just for a double drench of 3,000! I want a better offer! On Monday, you can all bring your best swaps and I'll see if any are good enough.
Mission accomplished! Boys, you'll have to keep an eye on each other. Your father and I are helping with the games. Huh? Oh, what shall we do first? Get lost, worm. I have to buy my ticket before anyone else gets my number. I'll just keep an eye on myself then. Where's the pirate prize booth? Other side of this tent, I think. Want a bite? Yeah, thanks. Oi, come back! Bert, huh? stop him! to be the next to play. Ah, oh, Henry, you're an eager volunteer. No, I can't. I, I have to get to. Don't be shy now. Just do your best. <laughs> oh, come back, Henry. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, Miss Ombud. Uh, gotta go. Hello? Hello? I want to buy a ticket. Hello? We're not open yet, Henry. Come back later. There he is. Get him. Gotta go. Huh? Who's next? Sit properly there. <laughs> Tickets can now be purchased for the pirate prize competition. Take a chance, win a prize. Gangway, coming through. Wow! Oh no! One of them is bound to choose number 42 before I can! Okay, calm down. Think. What would Rapper Zappa do? This is where ordinary mortals would give up. But I will fight my enemies one by one and I will triumph! <laughs> okay, who's first? Rude Ralph. Easy. I'm gonna mash you to pieces! Calm down, I'll make it up to you! I'll tell you what the winning number is! Really? Sure, and I'll tell you for only 50p! Deal! It's number 95! <laughs> Hi, Andrew. Uh, you do know that the first prize is a bungee jump, don't you? What? And the second prize is two bungee jumps. <laughs> Try and butt in. Don't need to. I know the winning number. Want to buy it? Uh, which number is going to win? Number 42. It is. Honestly, number 42 is the winner. You owe me 50p. You really think I'm falling for that one, Henry? Ugh, I'm picking 31. Yes! Putty in my hands! Oh, no! Beefy Bird jumped the queue! Ah! 42's gone! Beefy Bert's got my ticket! Bert, I'll give you 50p for that ticket! I don't know. And my new football! I don't know. OK, OK. 50p, my new football and a Killer Boy Rats poster! Uh, I don't know. Look, Henry! I bought a treasure map ticket and a raffle ticket! Go away, worm. I'm busy. Do we have a deal? Great! I'll bring your stuff to... 75? I don't want this number! Somebody's got my ticket! Peter? Peter's got my ticket! Peter! Peter, come back here! Everyone knows the more sweets you eat, the quicker your teeth rot. <laughs> oh, this is going to take forever. But you don't like Toffee Henry. No, because it always gets stuck in my teeth. So I reckon a tooth could get stuck in it. Ah, oh, clever. 
Well, is it working? I can't open my mouth! Help me! What? Oh, help you! Of course! Okay! One, two, three! Ah! Huh? They're all still there! Uh, Henry? Ah! Aha! Bert, I won't lie to you. That's my toffee. I threw it at you, and I deserve a punch in the mouth. Don't I? I don't know. Well, think about it. Don't you think chucking confectionery at you shows a certain lack of respect? I don't know. Take my word for it, it does. And if you were to punch me in the mouth and knock my tooth out, I wouldn't even mind, I swear. I don't know. <gasps> ah! Did that work? No. Brilliant save, though. One tooth! That's all I need! <laughs> Operation Molar is a go! Room, went to check. Don't want anything to happen to my little brother, do I? Hmm, I see. Well, now you'd better get back to your room and back to sleep. Good idea! <laughs> Tooth Fairy, prepare to open your wallet! Fairy would know who's just lost a tooth. How? From the gap between their teeth. The gap! Yes, the gap! Gotta go! <laughs> Henry! What a stupid place to sit. <gasps> Henry, if you want to see me, use the front door so I don't have to answer it. This is an emergency. I need your teeth. Huh? Your rubber Dracula teeth from your Halloween costume. Now would be good. Oh, I see. And what are you offering in return? Offering? Do you want any orange? Do I want any orange what? Do you want any orange, m'lady? Yes, thank you, Henry. That would be splendid. And could I have a slice of lemon in it? A slice of lemon? Do you want those teeth or not? <gasps> it's so easy being me. I'm I hate swimming. When I'm king, no one will have to do swimming ever. Give it up, Ralph. Oh, it worked on Andrew. Ah! You can't scare me. If I do, will you give me your pocket money? Yeah, OK. All 50p of it. Deal! So, what are you going to tell Soggy Sid this week? I forgot my trunks. No way! You did that last time. And the time before. Hmm. OK, then. Time for plan B. Oh, no, Ralph! You're right! Look, there's a mountain lion right there! Uh -huh. Whoa. 
lion's natural habitat. Oh, it could have escaped from a zoo. Hmm, good point. There's no mountain lion. Are you having a laugh, Henry? No, look, it's on this side. <laughs> oh, it's still not there, Henry. You were too slow. It's gone. Great day! Soggy Sid had to cancel the lesson because nobody had their swimming costumes. Rah! Ralph, you're really pathetic. Oh, yeah? Well, this will really scare you. The school rang my mum. We've got an extra swimming lesson tomorrow. Tomorrow? And we're doing our badges. Rah! Point three, five point five. Ten past eight, Henry. Time for school. Swimming today. <sighs> Keep this to yourself, Andrew. A shark just escaped from the aquarium. Uh, a shark? Yes, a super intelligent mutant shark, and it's headed this way. So stay alert. Oh. Henry says there might be a sh sh shark in our pool. Sharks are saltwater creatures. They don't like chlorine. I don't like chlorine, but I still swim in it. Hmm, good point. <laughs> That's not even as good as the werewolf. I'm just warming up. <laughs> I'm going for my 1,000 metres today. <laughs> right, you lot. Get in the pool. Henry... Don't tell me. Sorry, sir. I can't swim today because... Enough excuses, Henry, you horrible child. I don't care if you've got a slight touch of leprosy or bubonic plague. You're swimming today. Get changed now. I'd love to, sir, but uh, unfortunately I forgot my trunks. Spare costumes. Put one on. I can't wear any of these. I won't! Get changed. I've got to swim five whole metres without drowning. Henry? Henry! <laughs> He's a scaredy cat, sir. He's scared of the water. Of course I'm not scared. I... I love the water. Watch this! <laughs> Henry, swim! Do you really want to be the only one in the class who hasn't got his five-metre badge? You should make Henry a special badge, sir, in the shape of a drowning chicken! <laughs> <laughs> Swim, 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 There! Five metres! Easy! Can I get out now? Henry, how stupid do you think I am? Uh, is that a trick question? I said swim, not walk! <laughs> <laughs> Sitter? No, we're going out as a family. <laughs> Henry! He's got the car keys again. Henry, I'm coming in there. <laughs> Henry, no, not the toilet. He wouldn't, would he? <sighs> You didn't see that, Peter. Right, let's go. I can't wait! A chance to try new things! I love food. Well, um, all except beetroot. I love food too. 
Well, all except squid. Oh, and Dad doesn't like tomatoes. Well, I don't like anything except whopper whoppy burgers. I'm not going. That's that. All right, Henry. Here's the deal. You come along, behave yourself, and eat everything on your plate, and I'll give you two pounds. Two pounds? Just for shoving a few mouthfuls of disgusting food in my mouth. Normally I have to do that for free. How about three pounds? Don't push it, Henry. OK, deal. What's my reward for being good? Goodness is its own reward, Peter, darling. Huh? It's very nice of Aunt Ruby to invite us to dinner at Restaurant La Poche. It won't be as good as Whopper Whoopi. They have real food. And your cousin Steve will be there too, boys. Oh, no! Not stuck up Steve! Steve's my favourite. Um, where shall I park? We park, sir, unless you happen to be the chauffeur. Darlings! Oh, Ruby! <laughs> 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 New car, Ruby? Oh, I'm not sure, darling. All our limos look the same to me. <laughs> what make is your car, Henry? Rust Bucket 2000? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, look at that. Yes, isn't it fabulous? It's carved completely out of ice. I didn't think you'd be coming, Henry. I'm getting two pounds for eating everything on my plate. And I'm not getting anything because goodness is its own reward. Huh? Be, Be quiet, quiet, worm! I thought this place was called La Push. It don't seem very push to me. Shh! You're shouting. Don't tell me I'm shouting, Bodica Battleaxe. I'll tell you if I'm shouting. Shh! Mother! Wow! I didn't think teachers had mothers. So, what's everyone having? I recommend <coughs> le de cochon avec les yeux du mouton. Oh. Oh, don't they know any English? It's a French restaurant, stupid. Um, you order for me, Aunt Ruby. I eat everything. Yes, perhaps Aunt Ruby should order for all of us. Excellent idea. No way! I've got to eat everything on my plate, so I'm ordering for myself. Which one is the hamburger and chips? That would be on the lunch menu, monsieur, and we do not open for lunch. I dare you to order escargot as an appetizer. <laughs> escargot? What's that? Snails. <laughs> yeah, right. Like they're going to serve snails in a fancy restaurant. And then tripe for your main course. That's sheep's intestines. But if you're chicken... Don't call me chicken. <laughs> I'll have escargot and tripe. Hmm, our speciality. Very good, monsieur. Et voilà! Oh, gross! Let's see you eat that. <laughs> Two pounds, Henry, two pounds. Mm -mm. Not bad. Tastes like chewing gum. Oh, oh. Steve, they're so scrumptious. Oh. <laughs> oh. Don't touch that. Oh, oh no. Henry! Do I have to?
to clean the floor? Yes, and the walls as well. I want this place spotless for the Mossies. And Henry, it's a grown-ups only evening. You'll be in bed when they arrive. In bed? But I'm staying up to play the cello. That's not fair! After last time, no way. No! That was ages ago. I was younger then. Ah, dinner is served. Oh, no. Now, I promise to behave. You're going to bed early tonight, Henry. It's not fair! It's not fair! It's not fair! It's still not fair! What are you cooking tonight, dear? Salmon with lime and ginger and uh, chocolate mousse for dessert. Mum, I'm really looking forward to meeting the Mossies tonight. Nice try, Henry. Oh, but it's not fair! Peter gets to stay up and you're having chocolate mousse! I love chocolate mousse! Mr Mossy wants to hear Peter play the cello and then it's off to bed for him as well. I'm rather looking forward to an early night. <coughs> I understand that grown-ups need to be by themselves sometimes. <coughs> <coughs> Stop it! Go to your room! I won't! I want to stay up! I want chocolate mousse! I want... Upstairs now! And don't come out until I tell you. Oh, oh. The dinner guests are here! Oh no, the mousse! I'll have to make another one. <sighs> Good evening. Hello. Delighted to meet you, Mr and Mrs Mossy. I'm Peter. What a journey! Put Hercules down, dear. Look, Fluffy, a nice, big, tasty mouse. Help Peter's cello sound better. Pa, oh, Hercules, Mummy will protect you. They really ought to keep that wild beast locked up. It's just not fair. I'm stuck here while they're all having fun. Mm, chocolate, chocolate mousse. Well, if they won't invite me to dinner, I'm inviting me to dinner. Perfect. Dinner is served. Uh oh. Peter doesn't play that well. Someone has tampered with your music, Peter. Such a lovely neighbourhood for the kids to grow up in. And oh, um, Hercules, bad dog. So easy being me, I'm hard Henry. Henry, hurry up. 
settle down, class. Now, I'm afraid there's been a change of plan. The ice cream factory is closed today. So, we're going to the museum instead. The museum? is Mrs. Crunch. C-R-U-N-C-H Crunch. And I have the pleasure of being your tour guide extraordinaire while you grace our premises. I want to see the dinosaurs. Me too. That's impossible, I'm afraid. Our new dinosaur exhibit is presently closed to the public. My dad says you've got a mummy. Well, dear, most of us do have mum... Oh, <laughs> of course. How silly of me. <laughs> You mean the, uh, the, the mummy from the ancient Egypt exhibit? Ooh, a mummy! Ooh. Unfortunately, the ancient Egypt gallery had to make way for the dinosaur exhibit, so it too is closed to the public. Well, let's come back when they're open. Young man, this is a place of learning. For those who find civilised behaviour impossible, we have a naughty children's room. You would be wise to avoid it. Follow me, class. Gather round, class. As you can see, our permanent exhibit tells the story of this very spot throughout history. The flora on display here once covered this entire Looks like the stuff area. in our garden. Shush. Let us start with the soil, the very earth beneath our feet, unchanged since the dawn of humanity. Oh. See it, touch it, <sighs> smell it. Our very soil is alive with the mysteries of history. It's alive! It's alive! <laughs> Very funny, young man. But also accurate. The soil is very much alive. Behold the wormery. <laughs> Eat them like they do on telly. Oh, yuck! What do worms taste like? I don't know. Watch your feet! Do, do, do not tread on the worms! Everyone, help! I want all the worms picked up immediately! Oh, for goodness sake! They're only worms! Miss, can I go to the loo? Yes, yes, fine, but don't dawdle, Henry. Someone is responsible for this. I am very disappointed. Very disappointed. <laughs> Miss Lovely, those early settlements were really interesting. Wait for me. Let's get the other one after lunch. Nice hat. But you're wearing a skirt. Take your hands off me. Ah! It spoke! Ah! That statue! It talked! Did it? How interesting. Now you better catch up your classmates. No, that's my brother's class. My class is out here. It's so easy being me. I'm
then. Yes! But don't be horrid, Henry. No, Mum, I won't. I'll be really, really horrid. Nick's parents let him get away with anything. Make sure the kiddies are all in bed, because it's horror gore and midnight movie time. This is gonna be great! Now, Henry, I want you on your best behaviour. I don't want any midnight calls like the last time, or the time before that. Come and pick up your son! 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 And the time before that. And the time before that. And the time... Hey, Dad, I got the picture. Best behaviour now. I mean it. I don't want Nick's parents phoning me to come and get you. Mother, she's just warming up for the monthly opera karaoke. Hi, Henry. Oh, ignore them. They think they're really cool. Your parents are really um loud. Yeah, they call it expressing yourself. I like. I make my own rules. Cool, in it? Cool. You're really lucky. Yeah, except breaking your own rules isn't that much fun. <laughs> Meet my kid sister, Lily. Oh, with you, Henry. <laughs> You're my first sleepover. So, um, what do we do now? Let's raid the kitchen. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> um, where do we start? Where does your mum hide the biscuits? Here, catch. Um, thanks. This isn't exactly like a real raid. Oh. You want me to hide them? Miguelito, give that back! Sorry about that, Henry. Uh, maybe later. Oh. Yes. Oh, 
Well, sort of. I'm still leader, of course. And I'm second in command. But you can be next in charge after that. Wow. I'll do it. But there's no time to practice. Oh, don't you worry about that. Can I buy rats? Here I come! <laughs> <laughs> well, my horrid heroes, today's the day. Yeah, the day we're going to win. And you are going to come last. <laughs> yeah, last. <laughs> what if she's right? What if we do come last? Oh, relax. I've got it all sorted. Those Killer Boy Rats tickets are mine. Good afternoon and welcome to this, our first talent competition. Our first act is... Al, who's going to try and beat the school press-up record? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Come on! Do your stuff! Eight, nine... Al? <laughs> Uh, well, next we have Brian's brilliant brain. Ask me a question, anything at all, and I will know the answer. Who invented the telephone? Easy, Alexander Graham Bell. What's the capital city of Portugal? <laughs> Thimble, Lisbon. Who gave Lazy Linda the answers in last week's math test in return for a big bag of sweets? Uh, well, I... Mm. <coughs> Me! I did it! I want to work with you! <laughs> yes, well, there goes Brian and his brain. Um, the next is Margaret and her ventriloquist dummy, Susan. <laughs> I say, why do ducklings walk softly? Cos they can't walk hardly. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to say that bit. You were supposed to say, I don't know. Well, I didn't, <laughs> did I? <laughs> <laughs> They're really good. <laughs> Too good. Then let's give the audience something to really laugh about. <gasps> what are you doing? They're about to... Drop out of the show! <laughs> oh, say something then, dummy! <laughs> that was really horrid, Henry! <laughs> oh dear, and now is the moment we've all been dreading. Uh, please accept my sincere apologies for Henry's horrid heroes. Two, three, four. Now! And you, Ralph. Henry. 
When I'm king, I'll show Moody Margaret who's... who's... king! Henry, stop playing with your food. <gasps> Henry? You've already lost your pocket money for one month, Henry. We can make it two if you don't start behaving now. Good night, Bunny. Good night, Bunny. Oh, yuck! <laughs> Margaret! Ah, get it all! Margaret did this, Peter. Why don't you tell Mum and get Margaret into trouble for a change? Tell my guest. I couldn't. It's bad manners. Bad manners? You're a wormy worm. She's in there snooping through all my stuff. Eureka! That's it! Yes! Margaret is our guest. If she wants to snoop, then it's my duty to make it easier for her. Tomorrow is going to be the return of Henry. <laughs> What? Stop it! Stop it at once! Oh, for goodness sake, it's six o'clock in the morning. I always wake up at six o'clock and I always practice before breakfast. Fine. Then let's go downstairs and I'll make you breakfast right now. All clear. Operation Bye Bye Margaret is a go! Ugh! Girl stuff! In my room! Hey! What are you doing? Nothing! Um, nothing. I'm, uh, I'm just writing in my diary. Diary? Oh, I didn't know you had a diary. It's secret. My secret thoughts. Not to be read by the likes of you, which is why I keep it in this box, which I lock with this key. And that's where it stays. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have teeth to clean. Once a snoop, always a snoop. <laughs> Dear Diary, I'm really, really worried that she's going to put Peter in the rubbish bin. Hmm. Peter would never tell on a guest, so I'd be blamed and really, really punished. <laughs> My life would be over and it had all be Margaret's fault. <gasps> When I said your wish is my command, this wasn't exactly what I had in mind. Uh, what are you going to do? Tell? I could never tell on a guest. Huh, good. Watch your fingers. Oh, over here. Don't forget this one. <laughs> no, 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 no. Henry's got to get it. Oh. <laughs> Operation Bye Bye Margaret, phase two. Email sent. Henry, have you seen Peter? Yes. He's gone to live at the dump because he's rubbish. <gasps> Peter! 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 It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Out of my way, worm. I'm taking Mum and Dad their juice. But I always take them their juice. Too late, slow goat. Oh, you haven't put something horrible in it, have you, Henry? No. Open the door. Oh, I can take it in for you. No, let go! <laughs> oh, don't be horrid, Henry. 
Go and get something to clear up this mess. Hey? Can I come with you, Dad? I love going to the supermarket. Of course you can, Peter. Out, Henry! That's not fair! You're taking Peter! Why can't I come? Because I remember the last time you came shopping. I'll be good, I promise. I just want to help. Please? Cucumber, tomatoes, salad. Dad said I could push the trolley. You did it last time. Dad! Henry's being mean! Don't be horrid, Henry. It's OK. Peter can push. I don't care what... What did you say? Peter can push the trolley. I don't mind. Are you feeling OK, Henry? Fine, thank you. Um, well... Well done. Well done, then. Being good is really hard work. Hmm. I don't know. How about leek and broccoli? Um, yes, but Mum likes spicy parsnip. Fine. Henry... We need baked beans. I know where they are, Dad. It's OK. I'm on to it. <gasps> this has possibilities. <gasps> Henry, don't. Oops, nearly forgot. Henry? What are you doing? Get down from there. It's OK, Dad. I've got it. Whoa! Oh, I've got the baked beans, Dad. Lunchtime. Peter, can you...? Lay the table. Yes, please. Why can't I do it? Well, I want to lay the table. All right, Henry, but don't break anything. Hi, all. Please lay the table. Let go! You let go. OK, have it your way. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. What a good boy you are. Henry, sit up properly. I am sitting up properly. Oh, so you are. Well, don't slurp your food. I'm not slurping. I've eaten all my carrots. Good heavens. Henry, what a good boy. Oh, I've eaten all my carrots too. Mm. Ow! Peter kicked me! Peter? you're doing. You're only being good so you can go to the fair, but it won't work, so there. Oh, no? No, because sooner or later you'll do something horrid. You always do, smelly. I forgive you. Mum, can I do some gardening? You? Why? To be helpful, of course. Well, um, there is one job needs doing. It's so easy being me. I'm Sorry, you can't come in. We've got a clown already, thanks. Yeah, and he's standing right in front of me. <sighs> Out of my way! I'm missing my favourite TV show for this party. There better be jelly. Wow, look at that! It's... it's beautiful. It's mine! <gasps> no 
cake until after the clown. Oh. Where's the jelly? Henry, have you got Peter's birthday present? Uh, yeah, it's upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gordon. <laughs> oh, look, Mum, I got a, a torch for reading fairy books at night, a pair of hand knitted ear warmers, an encyclopedia of flowers, and a box of disappearing chocolates from Margaret. Disappearing chocolates? Yeah, they've all disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till Peter gets a load of this. <laughs> Present, Peter. <laughs> yeah, it's a stick bomb. Henry, how could you be so horrid? Now, inside everyone, the clown is about to start. Oh, goody, 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 yippee! One more trick like that, and there'll be no cake for either of you. No cake? No cake. Now, come inside with the others. <sighs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> hey, kids, I'm Colin the Clown. <laughs> now, where's the birthday boy? <laughs> What's that? Uh, it's a lion. Get it out of this room. I don't do lions. Why not? Let's just say I had a bad circus experience. Right, well, now for some magic. Oh, very good. <laughs> now for some cake. <laughs> this up. I want my cake. My next trick is the amazing disappearing milk. <laughs> <laughs> Henry, but I didn't do anything. For my next trick, we have the amazing vanishing banana. Wow. <laughs> now I shall make the banana vanish. Does anyone know where it went? Yeah, it's here. <laughs> 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 How clever you are, Henry. How would you like to be my assistant? What? For the Box of Bewilderment! Ooh. I shall now attempt to make this clever little boy disappear. Bravo! Bravo! Oh, lovely. Step inside. Oh, all right. I'll do anything for cake. A la cousin! Silly me, that shouldn't happen, should it? Let's try again. Abracadabra! <laughs> One last time. Big bang, biggly boo! Scooper. Everyone knows the purple hand gang is best. You think so? Well, 
why don't you prove it? Are you challenging me? I dare you to challenge me! OK, I challenge you. I declare that today will take place a series of challenges and dares to decide which is the pre... the... the pre... Min, the pre... Mient. The best? The best! The Secret Club! Hooray! Or the Purple Hand Gang! Hurrah! Let the battle commence! Did she twitch? Um, uh... Oh, can we get on with this? She's going to scream! No, she isn't. <sighs> so, what else have you got? <sighs> One point to the secret club! Last chance. Are you going to say my club is best? Your club is... Pond scum! <clears throat> Can do. <gasps> Not anymore. Oh. One point to the purple hand gang. Hooray! Ready? 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 Oh, we're all ready. Stop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. numbers, then multiply the answer by this number, then divide it by this number, then speak of the lady the Take this, alien math monster! <laughs> Calm down, everyone. Maths never hurt anyone. Yuck, yuck, beep, beep, willow, willow. <laughs> you saved us! Well, someone had to get rid of the maths monster. Henry? Henry? Henry! Are you listening to me? 
Now, which of you deserves a brave badge? The me, miss! I saved us from the maths monster! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. As I was saying, we'll find out tomorrow who is brave and who is not. Because tomorrow is... Injection Day! Injection Day? No! It's only an injection. It's not like it's major surgery. Silence, worm! Don't be nervous, Henry. Ha! Nervous? Why would I be nervous? It's only an injection. That's right. It's just a few centimetres of needle jabbed into your flesh. <laughs> and the winner of the gold medal for javelin is... Henry! Oh, wait. It appears we have one more contestant. <laughs> and then they pull the needle out and... Henry? Henry? Henry, time for school. I can't go to school today, Mum. Why ever not? Well, I've got a cough. <coughs> oh, come on, Henry. You'll have to do better than that. Um, uh, the school burnt down yesterday. Oh, I didn't see any flames. Silence, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. I can't go to school today because I I've broken my leg. Ow! Ow! Oh, the pain! Oh, poor Henry. I know it's injection day today, Henry, and you are going to school whether you like it or not. Now, let me see. B for broken leg. Just lie back and relax, Henry. I can help you. Yes, Peter. Yes, you can. <laughs> but I don't want to pretend to be you for the day. <clears throat> You'll get to play in the big boy's playground. Yes. Whoa! <clears throat> And you'll get to sit in the big boys' class. So? You'll get maths homework. <gasps> Ooh, goody! I love maths homework! Um, but if I'm you, won't I get your injection? Oh, yeah. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. But think of all that maths homework. This is never going to work. Of course it will. Henry? Peter? <sighs> You're right. It's never going to work. <coughs> this injection better not leave a mark. My arms are beautiful and I want them to stay that way. You better hope she doesn't hit an artery. This causes massive blood loss, gangrene and possible amputation. That means they cut your arm off. <gasps> so easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry. Here is our time capsule. Who will be the first to put something special in it? Margaret? Oh, football boots, cos I'm really good at football. Very good, Margaret. Um, my biggest encyclopedia. My favourite toy car. Thank you, everyone. Very good. Henry, I'm sure you've forgotten to bring something in, as usual. No, miss. I've brought something. <laughs> <laughs> Silence. Thank you, Henry. That will do. Uh, now would be good, Henry. Follow me, class. Standing together, we follow every rule. We will always and forever love our school. Not, Not in, in a million, million trillion years. years. <laughs> <laughs> this time capsule.
Capsule carries a message to the future. Margaret smells! <laughs> Ow! Quiet, please, class. Let the hole be dug. Inside, everyone, now! Bury it when the rain stops. Dad! Dad! Oh, oh, what is it, Henry? Could I have my pocket money now, Dad? Uh, yes, in a moment. Dad! Oh, what is it now? I can't find Bunny anywhere! <laughs> what have you done now, Henry? Me? Bunny's gone! I'll never see him again! <laughs> Come on, Peter. I'm sure he's somewhere. Let's go and look for him. Henry, do you know where Bunny is? No. Well, uh, not exactly. Henry, if you want any pocket money ever again, then you'd better get Bunny back. Fast! Oops! Better get digging! No! <gasps> This'll take forever! Unless I can get somebody to help me! So who told you there was treasure buried here? Everyone knows that, don't they, Bert? I don't know. We're going to be rich! <clears throat> I'm going to buy every chocolate bar in the world! I want my own gym. Hey, Bert! Found anything? I don't know. Henry! There's something down here. I'm going to buy a yacht, too! It's one of these time capsules. Huh? There's nothing in it. No treasure? No, nothing. Come on, let's keep digging. I bet there never was any treasure. How come these are all empty? I don't know. I'm going home. Thanks for nothing, Henry. They were all empty. I want my bunny. Where can he be? Maybe he's been kidnapped by aliens. I want bunny back. <laughs> Henry, you have got to find bunny or else. I've got to find out what happened to those time capsules. Eureka! That's it! Yes! I, Henry, have a plan! It's so easy being me. I'm home, Henry. Henry! Breakfast! <gasps> Want to help me mend this? Um, no. Why am I not surprised? Selfishness must be deplored. Goodness is its own reward. Best boys always pass the test. Best boys better than the rest. B E S T. Best boys. Hi, Henry. Do you want to join our club and be a best boy? <laughs> no way. How long is your stupid meeting going to last? All day. We've got lots of gold stars to give out. I bet you have. <sighs> I need to borrow a suitcase. OK. I'm running away. Hey, wait here. Oh, a map would help too. Grizzly grub box. Dungeon drink kit. Goo shooter. Mr Kill. 
day glow slime. Uh, what else? Ah, comics. Gotta have something to read when I'm not fighting lions. <laughs> Into bed. What's all this? Um, Ralph lent me some comics. Hmm. Well, don't stay up all night reading. Good night. <laughs> Hope they go to bed early. Run away from home if you must know. No, you haven't. I've run away from home. No, I have. Haven't. Have. Haven't. Have. Anyway, this is my tree house, so go away. I can sit here if I want to. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Ouch! Get off my leg. Shh. They'll find out we're running away. Well, don't think for a minute you're coming with me. You can't come with me either. I'm going to Susan's house. <laughs> Susan's house? That's not running away. It is too. Isn't. Anyway, I slept here all night. Where did you sleep? Hey, that's my running away food. <laughs> not anymore. All right, I'm eating some of your running away food. <laughs> no toothbrush, no clothes, no food. Nothing but toys. It's so easy being me. I'm Harvey Henry. I want wealth before I'm old. I want coins that I can hold. I want banknotes I can fold. Too many rhymes. Write that out 300 times. Next. Ha! <gasps> and. Now read us your poem, Henry. <laughs> this will really gross him out. This poem is called Better Out Than In. Pirates puke on stormy seas. Giants spew on top of trees. Bleh. Kings are sick in golden loos. Dogs throw up on daddy's shoes. <laughs> Babies love to make a mess down the front of mum's best dress. Thank you, boy. I think you've made your point. Oh, but I haven't got to the good bit yet. Obviously. You still have bathing, up-chucking, gagging, retching and regurgitating to go. Now sit down. I threw up in a boat once. I threw up in the car. I threw up on my teddy. Silence! You will all stay for detention after school is finished. Oh. 
Now it's time for the next lesson. Music. Follow me. Looks like I'm going to have to turn things up a notch. Can anyone tell me what music is an expression of? Music is an expression of who we are. That's right, Brian. Now, I want each of you to pick up the instrument in front of you. Silence! Double detention after school has finished! One at a time. Susan, you first. What is it, boy? There's something wrong with my tuba, sir. It is not letting me express myself properly. Hmm. Maybe you're not blowing hard enough. I think it's blocked. I can't see anything. <sighs> you're right, sir. I wasn't blowing hard enough. You horrid boy! I was just expressing myself, sir. Head mistress's office, now! <laughs> Keep playing! Something, Henry. Peter? Hello, Henry. I'm the school messenger today. I've got to deliver all the posts to all the teachers. Here's the tray of post, Peter. Now, do you know what you need to do? Oh, yes, Miss Lovely. Peter, congratulations. Being school messenger is an important job. I'm sure you'll do it splendidly. This is for Mr Nerdon. Thank you, Miss Oddboard. Miss Lovely, uh, may I have a moment of your time? Ah, oh, Henry, why am I not surprised to see you? I'll deal with you in a moment. Peter? You may return to class. So, when do you have to deliver everything in that tray? Um, just before lunch. Ooh, I'm going to be the best school messenger ever! Just before lunch, eh? Perfect! A triple detention, is that all? <laughs> No discipline in this school. That's the problem. Sit down. Over there. Ooh, ow! Henry, move over there. <laughs> Henry, 